Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of HVAC Education Hub channel. This will be unusual episode because I will not explain and share knowledge about technical part of the system, about heat pump systems. I want to share my opinion of heating systems and way to approach heating systems and troubleshooting. As I'm working in my technical support position for more years, for years, I realized how education is important. It means not only standard education, it means education in all different topics in all part of our world. So not only technical part, there is a lot of psychology, a lot of, a lot of social, social intelligence in everyday job, because we are working with people, with different kinds of people. We are working with installers, with end users, with designers, each of them are different. So we need to have complete approach to all of them. What I realized after these years is missing. It is missing a way to approach the problem. So when everything is fine, if you start up the system, everything works, no one cares, which is also not good because you need to set up everything. You need to understand your system, but if everything is working fine, who cares? The problem arises if you have some error or you need to troubleshoot the system. When you want to troubleshoot the system, if you see the error, it is easier because you know in which direction you need to go. If it is refrigerant or water or electrical part, but if you don't have the error and you need to troubleshoot the system, then you need to have very high knowledge about all different things in your system. So refrigerant part, water part, electrical part, what is for what, how to have good approach for everything. And at that point, it doesn't matter which manufacturer is, is this, you need to know how heat is moving, how water is moving, how refrigerant is moving, and you need to know er all about everything. And if you are working at technical support for manufacturer, like I am working, people expect that you know everything about each kind of product. So if it is room air conditioner or heat pump, at the end, you, you don't need to know everything about every product. You need to know how to find this. So you need to know how to look at documentation. You need to know how to, how to make everything clear and you need to be patient because every error and every problem, what arrives, you can solve. So everything is solvable. Uh, they're much uh, smarter and much, much better person than all of us who design the product, who, who knows how, how to solve this and they put it in documentation and with a little bit of experience and good approach, you can solve everything. So, but you need to be patient. Also, you need to have really good social intelligence because when heating system is not working or with domestic hot water and outside is winter, everyone wants to solve everything now. So you need to be very patient and to work under the stress, but at the end, you can solve everything and you can work on everything, but you need also to spend time outside of the work. So if you are not technical guy and you, you don't have time or will to, to learn about this, but you need to know how to deal with people, social intelligence, uh, how to, how to react, how to proper behave when you are in someone's house how to deal with different kinds of construction workers and designers, etc. So at the end, I want to, to tell that you don't need to be afraid. There is a lot of documentation, a lot of videos, a lot of everything. You can learn everything if you want, but you just need time. So people said that with 10,000 hours of something, you, you will be master at that. What is missing in everyone's life is the time because everyone wants to go 
on another job, on another site to work faster. But if you are too fast on your job, if you don't look proper at some things, you will miss something. You need to return back. So be patient, try to analyze problem and try to think what is the primary cause of the problem, not what is the end. Error is only the end. Usually in more than 90% of errors, it is not because of the device. It is because of the system or some other thing like electricity supply, etc. So be patient and try to analyze everything. Thank you for watching this different episode. See you in some other episode. Hit subscribe button and see you later.